lot of elementalists and the ability to, you know, the forgiveness there, at least again, from my perspective, just from my opinion alone, is a lot more prevalent, you know, for an elementalist who may screw up a little bit versus, say, me screwing up, blowing, say, contemplation of purity at the wrong time. Oh, did we, uh, yeah, it, I uh, I just restarted. It, it died for some reason. I I don't know what caused okay. that, but we're we're back. At least the stream's back on. Um, Do you want me to say that again? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Crap, I forgot what I just said, dude. You were talking uh, about um, the perspectives and and the whole. Uh, you have a lot more things to catch you. Basically, what I what I was talking about was there's a lot of different perspectives. There's a lot of different um, reasons why people would either argue yes, you have things to catch yourself or know if you don't hit these if you don't get this, this correct combination off you you're screwed and I was, right yeah i was talking about the whole i have to deal with uh i have highest health and health and damage or highest health and armor and that's more yeah i have passive things keeping me up but i if i if i miss my backbreaker it's a giant giant lost me uh from there do you remember uh <laughs> Dude, for some reason I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. My goodness, it's. I believe we were talking about the fact that, um, you know, I, I think I, I I believe I was sort of reiterating before. Yeah, you were on the sustain, actually. and it was just a simple fact that again, you know, it's, you know, it, it, you obviously can't compare the two professions, and I'm not saying you can, especially a sustain build versus a bursty build. But on the flip side, you know, sustain is a lot different, you know, you know as a guardian than it is for an elementalist. Like, I'll just give you an example. Like, altruistic healing would be considered a sustainable build for a guardian, but the problem with that is unless you're in a group setting, that sustain is not there. Whereas, again, the sustain for an elementalist, regardless of where you are in a group or solo setting, that sustain is always going to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that is, I know, I, I'm, I know for a fact I didn't say that before, but I'm just bringing up, if you want to, if you want to compare sustained builds, you know, altruistic healing is exactly what we're talking about in that regard. But again, it's a situational trait to where it is terrible by itself and is needed to be next to a couple of teammates. Whereas yeah. the elementalist doesn't have that handicap. Yeah, yeah, I suppose I I can see you on that one. But at the same time, I can also see it because you have uh, you have a few skills in there, like on the staff. That while they they are amazing, if you have teammates nearby, they're they're useful alone but they're not the best um yeah. that's what i mean yeah it, it's situational but again having a trait so heavily you know influenced by your teammates whereas you know another build doesn't have that handicap is huge as well you know what i mean so that's why i compared the two in terms of uh in terms of sustain because those are literally just a sustained build in my opinion dd ellie is a hugely sustainable build and then again altruistic healing guardian would be considered as such, but only within a group. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think that might be a, a good one to end on, because we, we did actually kind of go over our... Did we really? Yeah, we did. I mean, that this, was awesome. This, I thought we were having a good time. Yeah, this one was actually a really good one. We got really into the uh, in the sustain. About, I liked how we, we went into the sustain, we went into overall things, but we were able to keep it you know around the class we were talking about, unlike last times where we, we yeah we were we were on we were doing mesmer but we ended up like talking more about rangers and, and stuff like that but yeah i remember that that was pretty funny though <laughs> yeah it was pretty good but yeah we i i'm happy we uh we were able to kind of keep it on keep it on track but also talk about the types of the types of things we wanted um for the next one what do you think we got two left we have necromancer and ranger what? that's gonna be fun whichever i'm uh when are you available next time? Um, I will be available, let's see, I'll be available after work, like, for a podcast, I'll be available after work on Friday, before my uh, my long stream. Okay, so, let's do it. Yeah. Friday. We, we can I'm ham it out until, then. Uh, like, Monday, so that's yeah. fine. We could even, we could just ham out the last two this week, if you want, because we could do uh, one on Friday and one on Saturday. Yeah, let's, yeah, absolutely. I don't mind. Like I said, it doesn't bother, it's great. I'm all for it. Absolutely. All right. Which one do you want to do first? Um... Let's do let's do Ranger first cuz we we kind of we kind of went ham on the Ranger during the Mesmer podcast. Ham. But yeah. Yeah, ha hey, I <laughs> I have I have the Hamtastic build. I like I love the, that dude. I like the acronym Ham and Ham is fun to eat. 
Um, yes, it is. So let's go with Ranger because we kind of went crazy on it during the Mesmer podcast, and we've we've got kind of I've been messing around with mine, and then we can leave Necromancer for last because I honestly I probably have the least experience with Necromancer of all the professions. Okay, absolutely, is, that's fine by me. All right, so yeah, we'll we'll do that. Um, we'll aim for Friday and and Saturday for our last two on these, and I'm gonna. Uh, See, that's going to be that for this episode. Yeah, the whole elementalist and fun stuff. Uh, Arkin, go ahead and plug yourself. I figure we can we can do a, like an actual plugging this episode. Oh, then. well, that's very kind of you, sir. Yeah. Can we plug you too? Uh, yeah, we'll just both plug ourselves <laughs> because, well, okay, I can't, okay, never mind. I, I remember what the problem was last time because <laughs> I, yeah, and I remember what the issue with me plugging myself is because... People who are listening to this uh, like live or where I where I am. <laughs> that was so funny though, wasn't it? That was uh, amazing. Go ahead and plug yourself, Arkin. Hold on, I have an idea. Right, what? We got. Well, that works. Go. that works. That works. <laughs> That's it's, say it. Say it in audio. There's gonna be plugging both. Yeah, because well, why not? Well, people who are listening to this later, like on YouTube, aren't gonna be able to see that in chat. So yeah, go ahead and go ahead and say where you are on. Uh, on the the podcast itself, so that way people on like YouTube later can, can okay, go there. Right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, mine is just Twitch Big Heart underscore Gamer. And again, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, see you guys next episode. It'll probably be a lot sooner than uh, the previous one. So we will see you guys then. Take care.